Welcome to our Python tutorial. Today, we'll learn the basics of Python, including commands, arithmetic operations, values, and variables. Python is a powerful programming language known for its simplicity and readability. Let's start with Python commands. Start by using the print command. The printed command is used to display output on the monitor. Enclose the text you want to print within quotation marks. Here, it prints the message Hello, CyberSquare you are awesome. There will be cases where you have to print texts with question marks or characters. To print a text with quotation marks, just add a backslash before the quotation mark you would like to print, as quotes are part of Python syntax. The backslash is called an escape character. In Python, spaces and indentation play a crucial role in defining the structure of your code. Correct indentation is essential for Python programs to run smoothly. Let's see how incorrect spacing can lead to syntax errors. Here, the fifth line has an extra space at the beginning, causing a syntax error due to incorrect indentation. Let's fix the indentation and see the difference. In Python, indentation is not just for readability, it's a part of the syntax. It helps Python understand the structure of your code. Next, let's talk about arithmetic operators. Python supports various operators for mathematical operations. Python has arithmetic operators such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and more. Let's go through each of them. The addition operator, represented by the plus sign, is used to add two or more numbers together. The subtraction operator, represented by the minus sign a minus symbol is used to subtract one number from another. Here, for minus for equals zero, so the result of the subtraction operation is zero. The multiplication operator, represented by the asterisk is used to multiply two numbers together. The division operator, represented by the forward slash, is used to divide one number by another. The floor division operator, represented by two forward slashes, is used to divide one number by another and return the integer part of the quotient. The exponent operator, represented by two asterisks, is used to raise a number to the power of another number. Now that we've covered various arithmetic operators in Python, now let's dive into understanding variables in Python. Variables are like containers where we store information. Just like you store your belongings in a pencil box or school bag, we store data in variables. Let's see how to create and use variables in Python. We assign a value to a name. It's just like naming a container. For example, let's create a variable named student ID with a value of 100. Here, student ID is the name of our variable, and 100 is the value stored in it. To print the value of a variable, we use the print function. This helps us see what's inside the container. Let's define a variable called student name to hold the names of students. Set its value to John. Here we create two variables, student ID and student name. We assign the value 100 to the student ID and the name John to the student name. Now, let's print a message like this using these variables. To insert the values of variables into a formatted string, we use placeholders. Placeholders tell Python where to insert the values of variables in the string. Percent %s is a placeholder for string values, and a percent %d is a placeholder for numeric or decimal values. When printing the message, Python replaces a percent %s with the value of a student name and a percent %d with the value of a student ID. Percent %student name, student ID, is included in the code to specify the values to be substituted into the placeholders percent %s and percent %d in the string. Python has some rules for naming variables. Let's understand them. Variable names can only contain letters. Special characters such as e, at, hash, dollar, etc. are not allowed in variable names. 
A variable name in Python must begin with a letter or an underscore. It cannot start with a number or any other character. Numbers can be included in variable names as long as they are not the first character. We've covered the basics of Python programming. Keep coding and enjoy your journey with Python. Thank you.